yo, yo, look at what we got here. No, this guy right here, he's got the big guns, man. Yeah, he, this guy, this guy's camera shy. I told him I'm gonna put him on the camera. Look at him, look at that, look at that. Look. Fool, don't be shy, man. Say hi, hey, say hi to the ladies. <laughs> bro, there might be ladies watching this, bro, yeah, you know? Ladies watching your Yeah, feed. maybe your lady might be watching it be like, oh, what? Oh, good looking, what's up, bro? Okay. Oh, uh, anyways, guys, so here we got it. We got uh, we'll drop this thing. Uh, we got this uh, clutch in, we got the train in. We had a little of, uh, problem with the spline, uh, truss bushing that goes on the crank. Uh, it was kind of really tight fit. I never seen one be so tight fit. Uh, maybe uh, it's just uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know, but uh, got it in, got it all bolted up. It's more looking fresh. Uh, still waiting on some downstar some downstar bolts, so still not ready 100% with uh, being bolted up. So still, I want to get a little bit of longer belt so I can ride a different route. But uh, it's kind of how it is, you know. I'm just gonna set this camera down here. And uh, it's time to get it in. Yeah, it might have to come out. It might have to go back in. I don't know. But for now, we're just going to put it in because I also want to wrap my uh, battery cable and things like that and see how everything's going to how everything's gonna go. And uh, shout out to my boy here. What's your Instagram? Uh, don't me. You don't have an Instagram? No, what? Man, yeah, He's lying, man. I don't post on it. He likes the dudes, man. He <laughs> likes the dudes. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't I want. Don't you don't want the ladies check you out, you, bro. You know, only dudes gonna check you out. Yeah. <laughs> only the dudes gonna check you out. You know, usually my YouTube uh, followers or subscribers are all like dudes. Maybe a few girls. I don't know. Nah. So. I post on my man. That's the guy the car. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna get this thing cracking, and uh, see how it goes. There you go guys uh there you have it uh, it's not 100 percent done the head has got to go in the harness the shifter cables and stuff like that but uh i mean he's pretty much looking at it uh the advantage of having a uh, dc which is an integra uh the advantage of that is uh the baits a lot opened up which is you can tell the motor looks yeah, a lot more room. you know a lot more room so you kind of the bay being shaved and tug looks a lot nicer in a dc in my in my opinion but uh yeah guys uh that's kind of how it looks you know it's more looking great everything's looking good kind of pumped up ready for the show yo so uh clearance and everything looks good i'm thinking the rev alcohol i'm not gonna lie it's definitely it's not like that close ready you got the glossy and that that yeah. matte i think it works that it's matte good. the matte it kind of really you know and that purple goldish kind of like yeah it gives it a nice nice touch right there you know Are you opinion. That right wire thing on there yeah yeah i don't know if you're gonna put another all-in fab one on there if you're gonna go like that i had a k2 one but uh i just want to change it up a little bit yeah and uh but yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of how it is. Guys, that's your uh, typical K24 up in here. And uh, yeah, that's how we do it. What do you guys think, huh? Who wants to buy it? Let's take, let's take some bids. Let's take some bids. Let's take, let's take some bids. Let's see who wants to buy it, huh? You just said you never sell this one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> The amount of work and then the memories that I have behind this whole build is it's too much. It's too much. I'll never I'll never build something like this again, probably, you know. At least probably not another Acura Integra, that's for sure. Something else maybe, but anyways, uh yeah guys, I think I'll show with you and I'll show you uh you know motor went in. Uh shout out to my boy Mike up in here, you know. Uh 
he takes a lot of pride in car stuff as well. So he's uh, I appreciate when I have people like that around actually uh, really look out and care for other people's builds and uh, belongings. And uh, that says a lot. And uh, I almost forgot how a K series looks into a uh, engine bay. To be honest, is I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, five months ago I just had another boosted, you know, EG K20, and I'm like more impressed looking at this bay right now. Like I never, yeah. like I didn't own one. It's the first time I own a K series. It feels weird. Like I'm tripping. It's like I'm tripping for the first time having a K series. So it's, it's definitely. It feels like it's a. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, you know, hard work pays off. So, yeah, guys. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Just wait till the next upload. Uh, it's going to be a lot more work. And uh, I do like the female in the front, but definitely it's going to go higher. I like the female in the rear. So the front might go another half an inch higher, or maybe even more. But uh, I do like that drop right there. Uh, I like this drop, but definitely with the 15 inch, 15 inch wheel with that uh, P1 lip, is definitely going to drop the front end quite a bit. Can't afford to lose my lip on the freeway or on some bad roads because uh, I like it low. So definitely it's gonna be higher, and I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to uh, test out those uh, K1 uh, K K2 uh, street uh, callovers, and uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much all I have for you guys. And uh, just stay tuned to the next video. All right, guys. Shout out to my bottles up in here, huh? <laughs>